Hi guys, got a comment here from Madhav Mahajan. Wants to know if I can convert a small car to rubber band power. Well, I did one the other day, not quite a small car, I did this tractor. That was very easy to do because the underside is all open and you've got easy access to the axles, so it was very easy to attach a rubber band to it. and make it rubber band powered. At the other end of the scale this little car is not a good candidate. For a start the wheels just spin on the axles, they're not connected to the axle and there's no easy way of opening it up and wrapping a rubber band round that axle even if you actually glued the wheels to the axle so they gripped. So that one's not a good candidate. This one, again, there's no easy access to the axle to, rubber, to wrap a rubber band round it, but that one might be a good candidate to convert to an electric powered car. So I've got something in mind for that one. That leaves us with these two. Both of them have got some sort of mechanical motor in there anyway. This one's a friction one. Basically it's got a flywheel in there that when you push it, it keeps running. But there is a chance of getting into there and wrapping a rubber band around it probably have to cut a slot in it so you can physically get to the axle. So that's a possibility. And this one is similar. This one's got a pullback motor in it which is actually broken, doesn't work at all. So being as that one's already broken I think that's the one I'll see if I can do some work on. It is going to be a problem to actually get hold of the axle to connect a rubber band to it, but I should be able to cut a slot in the bottom. And I'm going to have to rearrange the axle anyway, so I think this is the one I'll do the work on. And then later on I'll convert it to solar power, because that's what I've actually got this one for. Right, let's have a look inside this one. bit of plastic missing just here, so that's why this car's not working. Got a nice looking gear wheel on there, that'll be handy for converting it to an electric car. That's better, got the axle available now. So the next question is, how are we going to attach the rubber band? I want to leave that gear wheel on there because I want to use this for a electric car later so that's handy to have that there anyway the normal way I attach a rubber band is just wrap it round the axle so that it comes off at the end of the run so the car can freewheel but the easiest way in this case might be to tie it to the back axle so that you can wind it up by pushing the car backwards and then it will run the car forwards. The only problem is, is when it gets as far forwards as it can go, it will actually wrap the rubber band back up again and it will start going backwards. But I'm not going to worry about that. So we need to provide something, some axle tubes, to actually hold the axle in place now, because now that I'm doing away with that, there's nothing to hold the axle in place. So in my box of bits here, got some plastic tubes. Yes, they'll do. 
These came out of old VHS video tape cassettes. Let's see if I can find another one. Yes, those should do. There we go. Nice bit of hot glue to hold those plastic tubes in place. Right, rubber band. Need to tie that onto the back axle. Right, success. Not very elegant, but it worked. So, wind it backwards. A lot of wheel spin there. Don't know how we get more grip onto those wheels apart from putting rubber bands around them. Right, just found an easier fix than rubber bands. I've just put a layer of hot glue around the wheels and that's increased the grip. So it works fine. So it looks like hot glue is good enough to give the wheels extra grip. So there we go converted to rubber band power.